Hello class. Today we are going to continue our lesson about number systems. In the previous class, we studied about the international and Indian number system for representing any numeral. And now we will look at another popular number system used globally, which is the Roman number system. It was introduced by Romans around 500 BC. This number system is quite different from other systems we studied earlier, as it does not use any of the digits to represent any numeral, instead, it uses special symbols and their combinations to represent any numeral. Let's look at these special symbols and their values here. These seven symbols form the foundation of Roman numerals, and other Roman numerals are formed by the combination of these special symbols. You can learn these symbols and their values very easily using mnemonics like Invisible X ray lights can diagnose malaria, or I value xylophones like cats devour milk. Good thing about these mnemonics is that these symbols are placed in ascending order of their values. Now, let us look at the four main principles for writing any Roman numeral. First principle is the subtractive principle. It states that if the smaller number symbol is placed before larger symbol, then it must be subtracted. For example, in case of number 9, 9 is represented by symbols I, X. Here, value of I is 1, and value of X is 10. And therefore, we must subtract smaller number I from larger number x. There are some rules for subtraction as well. Subtraction should only happen when the numerals are in the powers of 10, such as i, x, or c. Only a single letter from a single numeral can be subtracted. A letter cannot be subtracted if the other letter is more than 10 times greater than the smaller letter. Second principle is the additive principle, which states that if a smaller symbol is placed after the larger symbol, then it must be added. For example, in case of number 6, 6 is represented by symbols V, I. Here, value of I is 1, and value of V is 5. And since I is placed after symbol V, therefore, we must add smaller number I to the larger number V. Third principle is the multiplicative principle, which states that if a number have a horizontal bar placed above it, means it's 1000 times the number. For example, if a horizontal bar is present over symbol V, it means 1,000 times the value of V, that is, 5 into 1,000, which is equal to 5,000. The fourth and the last principle states that no same symbol can be used more than three times in a row. And the symbols V, L, and D are never repeated. Let's try to understand the conversion process of Roman numeral to other systems and vice versa with the help of this example. Try to convert number 7623 from international system to Roman numeral system. To approach this problem, First try to separate each digits, write place values of each digits, sequentially. 
For example, number 7 in the example is at thousands place, so its place value will be written as 7000, and similarly, place values of 6, 2, 3 are 600, 20, and 3, respectively. Now, replace the Roman numeral for each of these place values, keeping in mind all the principles we discussed earlier, and then combine these symbols for the final result. That will be all for today class. For any queries do comment below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe our channel.